I am Xavier, and welcome to my favorite kind of map. A dark, blood-red sky. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! No! This is exactly what I did not want to happen. Worst case scenario. We've got to go from here all the way over there. Two different sides of a building all the way back here. All right, well, and we also have 24 turns, which means this is the largest possible map. I've got a squad of six. Uh, what do I have for stealth? Uh, no such thing. I suppose we'll just grab whoever's an SMG, uh, Deidre. We'll move her up. We'll take a look around. If we get spotted by a drone... Hello, drone! That's actually very, very good that we managed to spot that drone first. Although it doesn't really help much since I have to get a move on with this map. Uh, hmm. What to do? I'd like to go on this, this building right here, and if the drone comes towards us, then I guess we... If the drone comes towards us and we have to start fighting it right away, I don't think we can win the mission. Because the reinforcements will drop several times by the time we get way over here. So this really comes down to which direction does this drone go. It looks like it wants to go to the right. Unless... Yes, because the light bulbs are in the front of the drone. It looks like it's going that way. So let's make... Let's take a calculated risk here. Move everyone up to the left. If this fails horrifically, then I suppose... It fails horrifically, and that's just going to have to be what that is. So let's move uh, right there with Deidre. Wonderful. Assuming that's clear, then Marcus, you you know, we could always try hacking the drone. <gasps> I have a hundred chance to shut down the drone, but that's not really going to help. Well, I guess I could shut it down and, and sneak by it, actually. We could do that. Let's dash Marcus up there, then hopefully he'll have line of sight. Everyone else come up here. See, as far as we can get, really. Uh, it looks like Cecilia, you're there. Uh, Melkor, you can go maybe here. Pretty much everybody just run up here. Yeah, looks good. Zawadi, you're there. And Mag, you're actually pretty slow, but you can go back there. Okay. All right, I suppose, yeah, worst case, we have 100% shut down. We shut the drone down, it loses is its, its detection range. Ugh, words, though. How the hell did I ever get anyone watching me when I can't even say, like, five words correctly? In a consecutive line. In any event, the drone moves off. And we move okay. off in the other direction. This is great. This is great. And also, Deidre can even sneak right around the front here up the stairs. All right, now, let's take a better look at what we have to do. There's another building here we probably want to get in the roof of. And then from there, we can... That is such a long run all the way back to here. I am not feeling confident about this. Let's... Let's, uh... Let's try to move as far as we can down here to the right. Melkor can scout out a little bit more. I need to I need to cross over here and get up on that building there, which means we need to go to the right of this tower. I want to see what this tower is. We can find out right now. Video feed 55 map alert hypno hypnography. So let's dash down there. Uh, pretty much everyone... I could have sworn I heard another drone down there. Look at these Minecraft trees. It's ridiculous. I have these sudden urge to play Minecraft for no reason. I'm just going to dash everyone into the open down here, and if this fails horrifically, then so be it. Uh, if it doesn't, great. But I feel like time is of the essence. We're going to have to make some, uh, some compromises here in order to hopefully get the show on the road. We'll dash up there with Cecilia. Wonderful. I could swear there's a drone over there. Guess we'll find out. Uh, snore? Okay, no idea what's going on. Let's grab someone with an, ass or not an assault rifle, an SMG. Is that going to be you, Melkor? Yes, it is. Can we just drop you down? No, apparently you're the only person at a wall who can't move down. And I didn't leave a space for anyone with an SMG to get up to where I want them to go. Bloody hell. All right, well, we'll have to use Cecilia then. Let's dash over, or single move over here. Look around. So far, so good. Uh, this being the case, I want to open up some line of sight to the left here, so let's move Melkor over there and see if there's anything in this general direction. So far, so good. Okay. This being the case, do I dare go on this roof right now? Very high value question. Let's move up here with Cecilia first, look through the window. Nothing. Alright, no reason to go on the roof just yet then. Let's dash the whole squad over across the way, ready to go on the roof. Next turn, but not quite yet. Still haven't found, like, anyone or anything, which I find kind of curious. Um, everyone pretty much has cover. I don't want to not have cover. Melkor, take that cover 
point right there in case a drone comes up or whatever from around the corner. Oh, hello? Officer Trooper. God, they look so much more menacing with the red, the red sun. Okay, I heard some footsteps over here and also a glass break over there. The glass breaking is probably the drone, I would imagine. Let's move up here with Zawadi, see if the roof has a drone on it that's going to ruin everything. It does not. There's the drone, and there's another two guys. we got five guys that are one behind us. Reinforcements have already gone yellow, and we haven't even started to pull this off yet. So, let's think of a plan of engagement whereby we can fight all of these guys next turn. I think the plan's going to be Deidre comes up there ready to roll. Uh, Melkor can also simultaneously be ready to roll. Uh, Marcus, we really probably want to have ready to shut the drone down from someplace like way up top here. That probably looks good. And then double grenade. Good. Cecilia, perfect corner shots with elevation from the rifle. And last but not least, Mag needs to be very close to be able to run out there and smash someone in the face with a shotgun next turn. So we get right in that position. And then I think we basically just quick end the turn and ponder whether or not we can even pull this off. It's only been three turns and already reinforcements are yellow. These guys are going to walk just outside of visibility range. I hope the drone, the drone's a solo drone, right? I think so. These guys move over here, so we got a pot of two, two, and then two individual things, so that's six. Probably another pot of three someplace. All right, well, can't tell if that's a solo drone or not. What's the best way to activate? We could probably shoot the drone later. We could, I think, throwing a grenade? No, actually, we should activate with the sharpshooter. Zawadi's right here. We've got a 71 and a 79. Probably gonna go for that 79. Who needs to be on Overwatch? We, how many specialists do we have with Sentinel? Cecilia does not have anything yet. Where the heck is, uh, who was the specialist this time around? Marcus, he's got Sentinel, but he could also shut the drone down. I think we want to be right here, so he, uh, no, you know what we probably want to do is aid protocol mag and then go on overwatch. Because mag's going to go out there with a shotgun in just a second. So let's aid protocol mag, wonderful. Pop the sentinel overwatch from elevation on, we're going to have an 82 and also something against the drone, which is not so bad. And we're going to have to go loud right now, I feel. And the best way to do that is probably going to be Zawadi, 79%, 10% graze, looks good, let's do it! Zawadi from elevation on! Wonderful, one less guy. Now, we've got... Three advent and one drone. And some more stuff off to the left sounded like a sectoid. Go box him. Okay, wonderful. Hey, some chickens doing chicken dance, apparently. What? You're not Borat? Is that what I heard? Is that Marcus swinging a miss number one, 69%, and no second shot? Wonderful. Alrighty then. So we've got one, two, three, four people remaining. Cecilia has the high cover here. It can blow the drone away with a single point blank. Also has some half-decent shots at the drone if we wanted to go that route instead. Who's going to kill the officer? I think, honestly, Mag's the only one who could. Uh, Mag would have to run and gun over here, and we'd have to pray that there was no such thing as another drone activation. Let's go for it now and see if there is going to be one. Pretty sure she's not going to activate anything else but that drone, but we'll find out in just a second. Ah, wonderful. We're in. 100%, 55% to crit. We're going to have to not mineral, not crit, or I could just buy some time with a 98% arc pulser. You know what? Let's do that. That's the whole point of her spec, regardless. So there we go. Officers at least dealt with to some extent. We now have one, two, three. And we, we have two grenades, and that's about it. I'm feeling the smart move here is let's pull up with Deidre, throw a grenade on the guy on the right, and see what results from that. Depending on whether or not we kill this guy or destroy his cover, we have several options with Cecilia. Let's go for it. We'll focus it on the cover. Probably should have focused it on the guy, to be honest. Nah, eh, actually, either one. Okay, so we didn't destroy the cover, and we didn't destroy the guy. Worst of every world. In this case, I'm thinking we leave this one guy alone. We run up with Melkor to this tree. But are not even to the tree. How far can Melkor shoot a grenade? Okay, we're going to need to move up a little bit with Melkor. Any? Okay, there's no uh, high cover we can take with them to get this grenade shot like I want. So I think what we're going to do is spread out just far enough that this guy is going to want to flashbang two of us. Any two of us, but not three of us. 
I believe that means we're going to come up here to the left with Melkor, one tile away from this tree, where we're about to move Cecilia to toss out Yield of both the battles and, or uh, whatever the other thing is called. I think we want to focus this shot here on the cover. But definitely wound this guy quite a bit, and we did knock out his cover this time. All right, well... Had I done that the first time, I think I would have taken a shot there and then a shot at the drone with a grenade or grenaded the drone and then shot him and left this guy alive, but it didn't work out like that. And I cannot kill this drone unless we shoot it in the face really hard, so we're gonna have to go shoot it in the face really hard. And then just suffer two shots from Advent, which is not really what I want to do, but it's gonna have to happen. Alright, here we go. Cecilia! Quack, quack! Oh, thank god. I was really worried about that one, min-rolling or grazing or something. But they had no chance to graze, so just the min-roll. Oh, here come two more. So we're looking at one, four, five, six things so far. Not... Oh, here comes the... Wait. No, the drone actually just flew by and we didn't activate it. Wonderful. This guy moves up. He's going to go for a shot on Marcus. Okay, 23% to hit, but some kind of graze. Didn't see it. Uh, it does hit for one on a graze. Cecilia's so going to take a flank shot here. Very surprised that that critically hit. She's down to... T oh, my lord. And the gunner yellow alert action shoots her right through the high cover with an 18% chance. Knocking her out. Can I even... Did I even bring a med kit on somebody? I think I did. Let's look around to see if I did. Because I don't... Yes, I did. Marcus has one. Wonderful. Wow. Yellow alert combo flank from one guy with one HP, though. On the other hand, this is most everything on the map. So let's start utilizing everyone as best we can. Deidre, move over here. Get the high cover relative to everything in the map. Get a flank on this guy, a proximity bonus, etc. And 93%, he's dead. Wonderful. All right, we can kill the grenadier, no problem. We gotta get down there and stabilize. Uh, this guy really needs to be dealt with. I might need another point of damage to deal with him, though. And quite frankly, we also got a panic there as on top of everything else. What is this hack? Video feed? I, hmm. I don't know what video feed is. Alright, worst case, Marcus can come over here... Get a flank on the officer to finish him, but then, yeah, from right here, he can get a flank. We can double tap him with Marcus and Mag, blow this guy up with a grenade, but then we're still looking at quite a bit of potential incoming damage from the Grenadier, which I'm not a huge fan of. So... Let's try to get high cover. Melkorter, take the high cover. You just saw someone get knocked out of one second ago. Let's toss out a grenade to finish up this Grenadier, because that looks just very, very, very scary. We want to try to focus it on the Grenadier, if possible. Uh, yeah, I guess we can't quite do it, but whatever, that should do it. Okay, one last Grenadier. We still have a gunner and another guy, though. I'm really hoping Mag can just, like, straight up boom this guy's a face. Mag, please go! <laughs> nope! Not even close! Actually, non-crit mineral! Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess we've got to come down here and go for the rifle shot. Melkor is kind of set up in a position to tank here with three. This is very bad. This is very bad. Very bad. All right, we got 100% though. We just need to make sure we don't graze, or if we do graze, not mineral graze. Marcus, wonderful. Officer down. Advanced conditioning, Mag immediately picks up. Now I have to be very worried about these two guys. They're uncontrolled completely. And Melko's up there with 3 HP. He is in high cover, though. I hear two windows breaking behind me. Hopefully double drones. Oh, my lord. Gunner shoots. 11% with 20 grays. On Deidre, swing and a miss. Trooper comes up. He's kind of an idiot. Goes on Overwatch. Apparently my VIPs are taking actions or something. Not sure what that's about. Zawadi has a 44 and a 26. I don't believe I can do a whole lot about this. Reinforcements should be coming in at the end of next turn. Melkor, could you toss a grenade down here and hit both of these guys? Yes. Beautiful. Go for it. We'll deal a bunch of damage and clear the Overwatch all in one fell swoop. And you can even pick up if we needed to. Nice. Hit for three. Hit for three. 
If we needed to, we could have you pick up Cecilia, who's going to need to be stabilized next turn by someone else. Unfortunately, Zawadi's sitting here without the ability to throw a grenade and without the ability to get a good shot, so I'm not sure what to do about this. Someone's got to get in there and hack this objective, which we can do through this doorway we just opened to get everybody out. Uh, that's going to, of course, be Marcus, who needs to come up here and stabilize. Where the heck are the bodies? Uh, preview bodies. Preview bodies location right there. Okay, this is great. We can move here and stabilize if we wanted to, so let's at least move there for now. Then, let's grab Mag and see what we can do. Can we move up here and get a flank shot? We can, and we do have an arc throw. Actually, no, we can't. Never mind, sorry, I got that wrong. This is very dicey here. Wait, I actually have command of all the, the people, but I can't do anything. I'm not sure how I got that exactly. 4426. You can probably kill a gunner with a grenade, or at least soften him up a little bit. It's really the trooper that I'm worried about. And... or the gunner, rather. Yeah, I guess we're gonna move Mag up here. Zero percent. What kind of stun? Twenty-three. But we also have a graze on the stun. Interesting. I don't know if... I don't think the graze applies on stuns, to be honest. All right. Can we throw the grenade from here? No, we're going to have to move up a little bit. Let's move up a little bit. Then I'll try to stay to the center so I don't activate whatever else there is left on the map. We do have a 57 there with a graze. That's a great shot. Is there some other way we can take this guy out besides throwing a grenade on his face? Can I even hit him directly with a grenade? No. So that's going to be a very low chance to kill him anyway. I would like to stabilize this turn just to keep the action economy moving because I got to move next turn with Melkor to get him up there. Meaning, I suppose it doesn't hurt to take this 23% with Mag and hope for luck. Swing and a miss. Okay, no problem there. Zawadi's got a 44 in the trooper, 26 over there. I'm thinking smart move is let's throw a grenade on the gunner. And pray for luck. I suppose we might as well center it on his cover. If we can manage to blow that cover. I don't think that's destructible. It might be, actually. Oh, we got him! Nice! Nice, Deidre, fantastic. Fantastic. And this just leaves a 44 with Zvayi with an 18% graze on top. Let's go for it and pray for a connection. Wonderful, Zawadi, coming up clutch. Okay. Only the something. Meanwhile, we can now stabilize here with Marcus on the Cecilia, who I definitely do not want to lose. And then it's going to take us two turns to get up there and hack. During which time... Okay, I can't really do anything with these guys. Um... But I do have control of them. I can move them, I suppose, a tile up. Uh, order something. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So they can't really do anything. Let's just end the turn. Reinforcements are still not red. That's actually surprisingly lucky. We must have gotten an early, like, high roll and then a late low roll after that. We're going to need to get in position to hack preferably next turn. Which is easier said than done. Let's dash up here with Marcus, see if we activate it all. We do not. He can probably move up, I'm guessing, here next turn. And from the... Well, maybe here and then hack and grab the loot all in one fell swoop. Meaning we probably need to start clearing out behind us now towards... Well, I should probably also keep some people up here to fight in case the last pod shows up. Did we actually kill seven units? So I think there's just double drones left. At this, at this point. If that's the case, let's bring Mag back here. Okay, you guys can't really do anything. I'm just gonna hunker you all down. Let's come over here with Zawadi. Probably don't see anything. We'll overwatch there with Deidre. Uh, Zawadi, probably reload. Can't do anything else anyway. Mag, probably overwatch. Uh, can't hunker you. Hunker you. Melkor, you know what? I guess it makes sense for you to start even picking up Cecilia, although it takes a turn to put her down. We can at least start moving back there. And then that's it. So, hunker and... Can I hunker down over here with you? The answer is apparently no. No. So I have just these two people and the turn. Reinforcements. Yep, there we go. They're coming in now. First thing I need to do... Let's grab Marcus. Let's move him to wherever it is we need to be to hack this door. According to this, we can hack the door from here. Wait, no. Can, can we? Hold on. Where did, where did the icon go? 
I need to be able to see in there. Oh, hold on. There we go. Wait. There we go. Yeah, so I can do it from here. That's awesome. Let's move around the corner. We'll grab this objective. Or the loot, rather. Hyperreactive pupils. Wonderful. We can actually hack either door. Small alloy cache 81, large intel 48. What's more important, I wonder? Large intel would be beautiful. But alloys, I think I need anyway for the hack. But I did just get the POI for hack. So I think actually the large intel would make more sense. It's like 35 intel. That'll allow us to contact another region, which we really need to get over the whatever it is. My bad play from earlier. Let's go 54% large intel, Marcus. Don't let us down. It begins. And so it begins. I really do feel like I should literally hit every single hack, regard even if it's 0%. I should hit it to equal out my odds from the last two campaigns. That's what I feel like. Uh, regardless, all these doors are open now. Let's move up. Where the heck's the evac again? Straight back there? Okay. Uh, let's move up to the over here with Melkor. I'm pretty sure there was a drone over here to the right and over here to the left. Okay, move both the civilians. They're on alert, yelling. If I move up here, do I have running gun with mag? I do. I think I also have a shot as well. Let's go for it, so next turn I can dash. I think this will activate. We'll find out in a second. Surprisingly, no. Okay. Well, in that case, let's move in this direction with Zawadi. See if we activate the drone to the right. Surprisingly, no. All right. Well, everyone dash. Dash. A dash. Uh, you guys are going to have a bit of a weird time, right? Let's get uh, Megan... First, out there to the left. Setsuya Hoshino. Who the heck is... Oh, there, right. That must be the rebel. We'll go over there. Uh, Razor will get you over here. And then Constantine will get you over here. I am going to have to kill this pod. It may have made sense for me to go on Overwatch rather than trying to pull back. The only problem is Melkor is out of grenades and is carrying Cecilia out. So I kind of wanted to give him cover against the drone, which was my bigger concern than these guys. So we got Trooper Grenadier. All right. I like the fountain noise in the background. You don't hear that ever. I don't think I've actually ever heard that. I didn't even know there was a fountain noise in this game, to be honest. I think I heard a door open inside here, but I could be mistaken. Uh, in any event, these guys are right here in either direction. Mag has the opportunity to run and gun at least this one. Who is going to kill the other one, though, is the question. And it's probably going to be pretty dicey. Can I get a flank shot from here with Marcus? I actually can, and I can get cover. So let's move up and see what the odds are. Odds are 77 with 12% gray is Marcus. That's fantastic. And, of course, 89% between the two and a miss. All right, Deidre's out of grenades. Melkor doesn't really need... We could put Cecilia down and, like, come back later. We have a little bit of time now. It's not, like, end-of-the-world kind of stuff. I do feel like Mag is the only one who can take down this guy, so let's run and gun back here and make sure that we try to execute him with reckless abandon. 55% to... Oh, no! It's a drone! Right through the window. Don't know how I'm going to deal with that, but regardless, 100%, 55% to crit, max roll or crit... Bloody hell! That's not what I'm looking for. That's an average roll of no goodness, I would say. I think I'm gonna have to drop Cecilia here, blowing an action point. I don't even know how I'm gonna deal with this. Oh, I only have a shot on the drone, too. Wait a minute. Did that not take an action point? No, I only have one action point. It's just showing me two for some reason. All right. I gotta kill the Grenadier. I honestly thought Melko would... I didn't even check, but I just assumed he'd have a shot over here, but he doesn't. He only has a shot on the drone, and it's very bad. All right, Razor, why are you cowering in the corner there, friend? We know we know that's not really your character. It's just, it's just out of character. Let's not pretend that's what you're doing. Uh, Megan, you can dash probably up here. I think leaving the trooper alone is just going to have to be what I do. Uh, let's get Constantine out of the way, mostly because I'm getting a little flustered here trying to move all these guys and figure out what's going on. Let's come back. I think we had one more person to move. Yep, Setsuya. Setsuya, we'll move you. Um, 
Sure, you can go in there, run out the window soon. I think there's another drone on top of this, though. So we're left with Melkor, Zawadi, and Deidre. Three people, three enemies, and we can't one-shot everything. Deidre has a very small chance to one-shot this guy from cover. Melkor could apply maybe a smidgen of damage here, but not honestly very much. We're talking one to two at most. Zawadi could move down and grenade the drone, softening up so Melkor could kill it, maybe? But then... I suppose Deidre could finish off this guy by moving over here, or even here, and leaving this guy completely alive over there to take a shot. I think, well... It's too late now, I've already done it. So... Let's go for it. 71% Deidre with Graze, 83 or something. Wonderful. Grenadier down. One trooper's gonna get an uncontrolled shot. Uh, this means we can, I think, move down here to this window and throw a grenade through the window on the drone, and maybe we can get super lucky with Melkor here and finish it off with a grenade. I mean, with the SMG. It's gonna be a dicey either way. Let's just see. Zawadi. Oh, nice! Shred one and hit for two. This is possible. We got like a 50-50 here if we hit it. If we hit it and we don't graze it, 47%. Uh, oh, God. Anyway, Melkor, go for it! Oh, nope. Didn't even connect. 67% complete miss. That means the drone's gonna come over and stun someone. But I think we have... Nope, it's actually gonna shoot! That was actually pretty good. So, because Mag was completely exposed, it went for a shot rather than a move and stun, which really would have screwed me over. Oh, no! This guy comes over and shoots at Setsuya, whatever his name is, hits for three, but that's fine because he's just a rookie. God, I love the rhyming. It's so perfect in every way. Now, how do I deal with this guy in there? Mag, can you get in? No, super slow. No run and gun, do have a grenade. Um, should I just run everybody out, out of the way right now because they're kind of... Yeah, let's just run them all. So, Megan, you're going that way. Zawadi, you can't... Why can't I tab right now? Oh, that's why I can't tab right now. We found yet another drone. Did it park on top of the other one? Okay, well, I know where my grenades are going then. Whoever has one, who I think was actually just Mag, right? Yeah, it was just Mag. Well, okay. That being the case, Mag, move on up. Take cover relative to the drones, and let's toss out yield Grenade right on a double drone. I don't know why my, like, rifle spec arc thrower shotgun, like, assaults are throwing grenades on drones all over the place, but hey, I guess there's a time and a place for everything, I suppose. Deidre can reload and maybe take a shot at the drone, but it's not going to be very good. Can we, can we dash the rest of the rebels out of the way? At any rate, can we shut down one of the drones? Yeah, 100%, so we can take care of that. Uh, let's keep moving, though. Razor, you go up there. Let's get all these people out of the way first. So, then Constantine... Wow, you actually can't go very far. I guess we'll give you that tree. And then who was this guy? He actually has some red fog now. Setsuya. He definitely has the red fog. Look at how slow he is. We'll have to move him in here and find a way to deal... Actually, I guess we can move him over there. That's fine. Huh. But I can probably take the drone out with Melkor and get high cover relative to the troopers. So let's do that. We'll get really close here. 67 with Graze. 87. And 87% swing and a miss. Wonderful. Like the third 80-90% chance I think we've missed completely this time around. Uh, so we have Deidre. Marcus really has to run because he's so far across the map. I'm getting bogged down fighting a lot of guys I do not want to be fighting. Let's pop a reload here with Deidre and see. 39 God, we would have to non-graze hit average roll to kill that thing. I just don't see it happening, to be honest. So the plan then is as such. Let's grab Marcus and move up as far as we can. So we still have line of sight on the drone and we'll just shut it down. And then I guess we'll take like a 20% sniper shot at the other guy, that or Overwatch, I'm not sure which yet. 100% temporary shutdown, wonderful, go for it, boom, we got it. Yep, I like that low roll too. Of course my highest hacking specialist is the one who fails like repeatedly and low rolls every single thing. It's down, at least for one turn. Should I take this 21 here or just go on Overwatch and... Well, if I go on Overwatch, he might stay there and just take a plunker shot. 
Uh, Deidre, on the other hand, really needs to get a move on. Let's move up into the high cover. Yeah, I'm just going to go, I think, Overwatch. And he does make a run for it, but we don't get our Overwatch shot. I guess line of sight is going to line of sight. Uh, we have a shot here at Setsuyo, whatever his name is. 37% swing and a miss. God, this Rebel is earning his place on the team for sure. Wow. All right, Rebel, you're going to run. I think we might be able to get everyone out this, t I mean, next turn, rather. Maybe. Maybe it's going to be kind of dicey, actually. We'll move Constantine down there. Reinforcements are incoming next turn. Razor, you're going to come all the way down maybe here-ish. Wonderful. So all of you guys can get out of here. Uh, the drone's going to wake up, but I think that'll be fine. We're going to move... Where's the preview bodies? Right here. So let's move someone who's in the back. Okay, right there. Perfect. Deidre, you can pick up Cecilia on the way out of here. Wonderful. And let's keep moving down into the low cover at the very least. Everyone else pretty much just dash down the street. Oh, wow. We can go super far here with Malcor. That's good. Just, oh, no, Marcus is never going to make it out. He's so slow. I forgot about him way over here. This is not what I wanted him to be doing. Let's move him up there at least into the double double corner high cover or whatever. Uh, Mag, you can come down here, I suppose. I'm all over it. And we'll get one person out there, and that's it. All right, let's go. This is a pot of three. They're going to drop on the XCOM center mass, which luckily Marcus was further back. So hopefully it pulls it slightly back and they're not directly on top of us. We cannot afford to fight these guys. Well, no, they actually have an XCOM center mass plus like some radius and they rolled the worst possible range for us because now they're over here near us flanking us and we can't take them out and they all have high cover. Oh my lord. Here comes the drone. Please tell me it... Okay, yeah, it's going to... Oh, it's going for Setsuyo, whatever his name is. No! Setsuya, God! They just wanted him dead. They wanted him dead. How the hell am I going to get Marcus out of this freaking melee? Like... Can I stand and fight? No, not against two gunners. Okay, first, let's get Razor out. Let's get Constantine out. Ah, oh, poor Satsuya. Uh, Deidre doesn't have any more, like, useful abilities. She's just like a rookie with an SMG. Melkor, basically, just an SMG. I don't know how Marcus is going to get out of here. We're going to have to do some line of sight shenanigans to the extreme. Maybe if we want run, like, way over here? No, way inside here where no one can see him, right? Because there's nothing in there. And then out the window... To grandmother's house we go. Yeah, right there. Maybe we can get out next turn. And then the drone will be able to stun us. We'll have to run some overwatches, though. It's not going to be pretty. That's for sure. Uh, everyone else, I think, just get out. Do we have any shots I can take? Nope. So, out. I'm going. Yeah, no one has any shots. But can I move over get here out. with Zawadi and throw a grenade, maybe, on something before I leave? Nope. One tile short in both. No, oh, there we go. I can actually hit, I think. Nope. Nothing we can do here. All right, well, let's just get everyone out. Everyone out, which means, Mag, you're going to have to get out of here as well, and we'll give you one chance to stun something. <gasps> Wait, you have the thing that does damage to... Oh, I completely forgot that I took that perk. 63%. Mag, go for it. Shut down that doofus drone. Nice. Just buy a little bit of hope for Marcus to get out of here. And we're out of here. All right, let's see if Marcus can do this now. Gunner moves over. Please all double move like super dumbs. You are still alive someplace. You're going to double move up, okay? Come on, one more gunner, one more trooper. Trooper moves up. Don't overwatch. Nice. Gunner. Don't overwatch. Double double move yourself into oblivion. Yes. Oh, thank heavens. Marcus, you're out of here. No overwatch. You're good. Ooh, boom. Double window, and we're out. All right. Well, that was a hell of a mission. It, it was, like, theoretically a super simple mission. Six guys going on an extremely light thing. What could go wrong? Well, what could go wrong is a ginormous freaking map where we have to go all the way into hack and then come all the way back to the evac. Hack evac, huh? 
Look at the rhyme again. So all that being considered, I think we did fairly well there. No one died. And I think, like, once again, yellow alerts. Like, the, we would have probably only taken one wound on Cecilia if not for yellow alert. But we did get a little bit of luck that she didn't bleed or not uh, die outright rather than bleed out. Regardless, the mission is done. We lost our rebel, which sucks because I thought that was the highest value person there. But now we have three more rebels. I mean, um, XCOM. We can train up in the GTS soon or bring out in missions, including uh, two people we've all seen many times before. I'm not too happy about this one either there, Bradford. But, you know, 27 days for one person, not too bad, all things considered. What are we... What are we, we actually made $60. Like, if you think of this from an economic perspective... Granted, I don't have an infinite pool of rookies to recruit, but we just got $60 worth of rookies for that entire... For 27 days of wounds. I guess we also got some experience, too, which is okay. Uh, but probably one of the lowest possible returns for risk there is in this game. Uh, that being said, Zawadi, what do you want to do with 70? I think someone has to go death from above, right? We'll give it to you. I didn't want, actually even want to do it this campaign, but hey, why not? Deidre's here with technical now. Well, negative defense, super high dodge, super high health. Can't go wrong with that. Awesome technical. Not gonna, I think a flamer technical too, because she has a 65 aim, pretty average there. Hyper reactive pupils, good for any shooter rangers if I had any. Advanced conditioning, plus two. That's awesome. Poor Satsuya, that guy just got hammered by Advent. Absolutely hammered over and over and over again. Look at this squad. Every single one of them's got glasses. Every single one of them on the Dark Avenger. That would be me. 100%, I'd be wearing glasses all the time. Be like, guys, turn the lights off. It's too, too bright in here with my glasses on. Reduce Will and Cecilia. Constantine awaiting orders, awaiting orders, awaiting orders. Yes. And I believe we are done. Unless there's someone to train up here. Specialist, sharpshooter, no such thing. Do I want to do... I want to switch to the lab? No nah. I'm in. fine. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. Yes, we will, Bradford. Or we'll need to seek out new means of deleting you entirely from the game. Maybe. Maybe. Where do I want to scan now? I think I want to scan over here because Liberation 2. Sector 14, East Asia. And the scanning we will go. There's our supply drop. Oh, Buttery Butters is available. No longer in a jailbreak this campaign, huh? We're working on scopes, combat awareness, and a hidden event. And let's scan for four more hours to get our materials, wondrous, new research, and a laser. Where are you? We got tracer rounds, good. Laser, 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 laser. There you are, 14 days. Go for it. When are we going to have that? By the end of April? Actually, April 26th. That's okay. It's okay. New target acquired, five days, two. Oh, there we go. Liberation 2, this time very light. Operation Chase Call. What's the strength? Okay. I guess Advent got scopes already. Strength 2. <sighs> we might have to boost this one, because I'm barely going to be able to get a squad of 4 in there. I don't think I can get a squad of 5. I want to bring 5 and boost it and have it go down to extremely light. That being the case, 93 intel. Okay. Once we do this mission... Wait, wasn't the mission I just did for intel? Or is that this extract? That's an intel pack. I thought that was a mission I was doing for 29 intel. I guess I already got it a while ago. Hmm. And I was talking about expanding because I'm in a strength 2 and a strength 3 region. Any moment these things could go up to 3 and 4. In which case I really want to be somewhere else. Uh, but I also want to do a liberation too. So I'm just going to gear this up and we're going to pour intel into it if we need to. And here's the squad. Basically the exact same squad we just sent out because that's the only people I have. No surprise there. We are going to plan on boosting it down to 128%. Which should get us down to extremely light with five men. Mission. Uh, also, let's come in and build not one, but two nanoskill armor. We'll give one to Mag, because I think Mag's going to need it pretty soon. We'll give another one to Deidre, because I think she's going to need it, being a technical tank. And the last one, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm thinking Melkor, 
But his triple grenade right now is pretty useful. And it's also possible we may move Marcus. Like, he was in weird places last time. I think I'm going to give it to him, actually. But then again, do I have the ability to build tracer rounds? I think I did until I spent all my money on it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to give this to Melkor to keep him alive. At least until he can get one more HP. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to have to look at... The personal combat sims. We got body shield, hyper reactive pupils, advanced conditioning, and speed. Who do I want to have speed more than anything? I think Deidre here could really use body shield for tanking, but also advanced conditioning for tanking. Let's give her that. Keep her alive. Awesome. She's got a ton of HP now. Nine with two allative. That can't go wrong. I think Mag's gonna potentially need... Well, you know what? Mag doesn't really need body shield. Could use the mobility, but I think I'd rather mobility stack on like a sawed off ranger or something. So I think I'm done. This is gonna be a pretty difficult mission. I've gotta go to a vehicle, which means I have to fight all the pods on the map at the vehicle. And it's not gonna be the easiest. What kind of options do I have here? Advanced laser sight. Let's go for that on Mag. We can finally give these things into people. Suppressor, stock, awesome. Oh, I forgot all about stocks. Hey, let's give one of those to Faraday, right? We'll give him a stock. Uh, why don't we also give him probably an expanded magazine, because they seem to be the worst. we have any scopes? Probably not. No. I think we will go for the suppressor on the sharpshooter. Because I, I just like to see the, the ginormous 15-foot suppressor that's bigger than the gun. Like, come on, that's ridiculous. It's literally bigger than the gun right there. <laughs> Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, next up, let's go advanced autoloader here to Marcus, because he's going to need it for overwatching, I believe. Air trigger. Sh oh, wait, no. Did, was there an advanced one? Yes, there was. Awesome. And I think that's probably good. No one else is really going to be shooting or doing anything else. Let's uh, do it. All right, so we're looking at scientist here, scientist here, and scientist here. That is uh, enough that I'm really considering switching the AWC over to the laboratory. Then again, if I did that, I would only be able to buy one tube. Well, I actually want to build the laboratory on the power coil, so maybe I should wait for that. Build the workshop here. But then I have to wait 24 days, then I have to build the workshop, then I have to dig this out. Then I have to build the lab, then I have to wait for that. I honestly feel like just building the lab right now instead of the AWC. And then upgrading one tube and going from zero to five scientists overnight would really elevate this campaign into the mag technology super soon. Do I need the AWC? I have a fairly decent roster right now in terms of width. Not many wounds have been coming in. We've only got four so far. We just got three more rookies as well. I honestly feel like it is the smart idea. I, I really do feel like it is. In fact, let's come in here and cancel this AWC. How do I cancel it again? I know there's a way to do it. But you have to go to, like, engineering... Build facilities, right? Oh, no, it's right here. You got to cancel it like that. So stop construction. Wonderful. And now let's put in our laboratory. And then actually, I think I want to cancel out our one engineer working on it so we can get this laboratory done at the same time as we get all three of those scientists. And that'll be awesome. Super, super, super awesome. No AWC. Well, for now, we'll get it later. And since we have Liberation 2 over here, I'm feeling like it may make sense to go... Two people back on recruit, and let's swing over to Western U.S. and try to find us a lip. Oh, well, it's strength three. Do I want to even be over here? I mean, I suppose it's only one mission over here anyway. I prefer to find. Oh, there we go. Three days, twelve hours, jailbreak. Ah, bloody hell, we can't do that. I don't even want to see who's in it because oh, it's just going to be sad. Well, I guess it's three resistance personnel. That's it. Okay, I guess let's go back to East Asia. I mean, it really doesn't matter where we go, to be honest, right now. Oh, look at that. Strength in East Asia is now three. But it came out of Western U.S., which was two. Okay, well, that's something. Uh, in any event, we're going to have a mission in just a second. I'm going to scan up a little bit. We did find... Whoa! 
13 day, 6 hour, extremely light, strength 2. Recover item from vehicle to counter an unknown dark event for 21 intel. I obviously want to do that, but... Okay, here's another mission. 6 days, 19 hours, recover item from advent vault. Very light, 30 intel, intel package. That is a high value reward there. I'm feeling like we can't do either one of these missions just yet, because I think the barracks are a little too thin right now. Yeah, we got pretty much nobody anywhere. But, if I just do one more mission, we can deploy up there, and then the second mission that gets done, we can redeploy over there, and yeah, we got a backlog of missions up the wazoo now. Let's scan until this extract is up to 100%, but even then, it might be harder than I bargained for, because strength here went up a little bit. Oi Nishimura has been recruited. Uh, okay, let's go maybe another person on recruit for a little bit here. That does open the possibility of recruit raids, which is fine by me. And we got now Matt Love done with the hacking. Wondrous. Why am I in here? Oh, I guess I want to go to the GTS, right? Razor has pretty defensive... St well, he's got pretty average stats across the board. Low hacking, low aim, but maximum defense. It's basically just a tank. Megan has high mobility. Constantine has super high mobility. Negative dodge, but high defense. Interesting. But very low HP. Let's go for someone like Razor. Someone who we can keep alive through the early game. Ooh, Shinobi. Yep, sounds good to me. Bam. We need some Shinobis anyway. He's in. And we uh, scan for just a second more. Extract VIP. Is it very light? No, it's extremely light. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank... I should have checked it just before I did this because I could have, like, over-infiltrated a little bit. How much more time do I have on this mission? Five days, 22 hours. We're cutting that one close, especially if I want to over-infiltrate. That's a huge reward, though. I may be able to hack this one, though, because it's a recover item with a specialist through a window by being sneaky or something like that. Anyways, when are you returning? A extremely light rescue VIP from a cell for a scientist I'm brought to you by this squad of five. I feel like I'm starting to be stretched a little too thin. But this is a good squad. Uh, also, if I want to do that mission and the other mission, I have to make sure I take no wounds. Will that happen? I don't know. We'll see in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Okay, 23% to hit, but some kind of graze. Didn't see it. Uh, it does hit for one on a graze. So see, is going to take a flank shot here. Very surprised that that critically hit. She's down to... Oh, my lord. And the gunner yellow alert action shoots her right through the high cover with an 18% chance. Knocking her out. Can I even...